And we start the lineup here at 530 with concerns about the actions of a local superintendent. Good evening, everyone. I'm Adam Benini. After receiving a tip, we confirmed that Anthony Day of the Sweet Home School District recently testified on behalf of a convicted sex offender. He acted as a character witness in the hopes of getting him a lighter sentence. Investigative reporter Emily Lampa sat down with the superintendent today who explained his actions in this two on your side original. You recently participated in the sentencing of Luis Pereira. Correct. What made you decide that this was something that, that you needed to do? Well, I've known this gentleman for eight years. He's been my neighbor and I, throughout the time I've known him, um, he's been a man of extremely high character. He's been a great friend. He's been a great father, great husband. 54-year-old Louis Pereira of Buffalo was convicted in September of a number of charges, including felony unlawful contact with a minor. This was for a 2017 incident where he sexually touched an 11-year-old boy through his clothes at a home in Meadville, Pennsylvania, where Pereira was staying while he worked as an administrator at Allegheny College. When he told me this summer that he had been charged uh, in this uh, incident, you know, frankly, I was stunned because uh, the nature of the charges and what I knew were completely incongruent. Day says when Pereira asked him to be a character witness in his sentencing two weeks ago, Day knew he faced an ethical dilemma. I'm not trying to condone the behavior. I'm not even commenting on the behavior. I'm, that's not my thing. But, you know, a judge was going to make a determination about what to do and how to impact this man's life. And... I began to feel that it was my obligation to offer what I knew of him so that the judge could make the very best decision he could. Day was one of five character witnesses. The judge ended up sentencing Pereira to probation, no jail time, and he must register as a sexual offender for the next 25 years. Can you understand the concern from the community about that kind of a conflict? I can, but I also know that in my job, every day, there is no black and white. And there's nuances that always have to be taken into account. I don't feel that I compromise my ability to service the kids because I wasn't condoning behavior. And Mr. Pereira will do what he needs to do legally uh, to clear his name. But all I offered was this, to say, this is a picture of a man. So when you do this part of your job, judge, here's the picture. Prior to testifying, Day did ask the school board for permission, and they gave him their full support. Did any member of your board express concern about this decision? No, we uh, knew about the consequences down the road, but uh, we felt that he was doing the, the right thing for his neighbor and friend. After agreeing to speak with us today, the Sweet Home Central School Board sent out this letter notifying parents and staff about the superintendent's decision to testify in court. Now, in this letter, the board stated that Pereira plans to appeal his conviction. If you'd like to take a look at this letter, as well as the full interviews with Day and the board president, they are up on our website, WGRZ.com. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.